The fact that the Jake Paul vs. Tommy Fury matchup has been talked about more in the past year or so than nearly every other potential fight doesn't necessarily mean that boxing is going through a slump. Instead, it means that Paul, the YouTube star who has turned himself into of the most popular pro boxers and perhaps the world's biggest cheerleader of women's boxing has become a phenom in the sport, and he's created a huge international event with Fury as a result. Here's everything you need to know about Jake Paul vs. Tommy Fury, including the odds, their records, and a prediction on who will win. Paul has made his name in this sport by brutally knocking out former MMA stars and ex-NBA players, but for the first time in his career on Sunday, he'll actually face a legitimate pro boxer. That, however, certainly doesn't mean Fury, despite the fact his half-brother is Tyson Fury, is a better fighter than Paul. Paul has been on bigger platforms, and he's had more eye-catching results than Fury, even though Fury's career has lasted two years longer. Need proof? How about Paul's mammoth KOs of Nate Robinson, Ben Askarin, and Tyron Woodley? Unsurprisingly, Fury disagrees with that sentiment. Instead, he says he's going to retire Paul while also taking note that Paul is coming off a victory against 47-year-old Anderson Silva. This fight has been more than a year in the making. Originally, they were supposed to meet at the end of 2021, but Fury suffered an injury while training and had to pull out of the fight. They rescheduled for the middle of 2022, but Fury had visa issues trying to enter the U.S., and again, it was called off. Now, we'll finally get to see what happens when two boxing neophytes who are better known for being reality stars finally meet in the ring. And there's a good chance Paul will continue to mark himself as one of the top PPV attractions in the entire sport. While Fury, at times, has been the betting favorite in the lead-up, Paul is securely the front-runner in the eyes of sportsbooks. As of Friday afternoon, he was a minus 160 favorite, bet $160 to win $100, while Fury was the plus 140 underdog, win $140 on a $100 wager. I wouldn't touch Fury's money line, but I don't think betting Paul straight up is a terrible idea. Some of Paul's knockouts have been spectacular, particularly against Robinson, Woodley, and Askarin. But at 6-0, for KOs, Paul has still never fought a professional boxer. Perhaps his biggest test came against Silva, because even though Silva was nearing 50, he was a true MMA legend. It'll be fascinating to see what happens when Paul exchanges punches with Fury. While Fury, 8-0, for KOs, has more pro experience than Paul, his opponents haven't exactly been top-notch. Aside from his latest victory against a man who